you had your allergies, you weren't feeling well, still put on a vocal performance. That was uh, one of the more impressive performances of anybody, I would say, just because you had to deal with that. I like to think so. The game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And the, the Dan Patrick School of Sports Casting History books. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, yeah. Did you post uh, your clip of that on Underdog Sports yet, or is that coming? I the time this podcast is posted, it definitely will be. I think I'm doing that later because I downloaded it and I trimmed it, so it's it's good to go. I just need to post it. Sweet. Okay, so we'll link in the description all of Connor's platforms, Underdog Sports, um, so you guys can go uh, check that out. That clip from that show will be. Uh, up there so go watch that it was very good um let's keep going with underdog sports what's um obviously right now you just started it's pretty small but like vision wise what um how do i say this how what would you see underdog sports being like if it reaches its peak for like whatever vision you have for it like at its fullest or biggest it could be what do you see it being at its fullest like if it really took off i've imagined like it being its own platform kind of like uh kind of like barstool okay. but it'd probably be more professional than that where like at its biggest like having like my own staff and multiple sports casters talking about multiple sports on um, podcasts talk shows whatever but yeah right now i'm kind of just experimenting with it posting kind of just whatever sports content i make on there just having fun with it mm. yeah it's very different as a, a solo operation for sure and then yeah if that solo operation gets bigger then you've got all the other things but yeah that would like just like a sports media platform like a podcast network anything like that that would be yeah that would be pretty cool would you do you think it would be like a just all sports underdog, like all sports, or if you'd like maybe go into a lane, um, like football, basketball? Uh, I'd like it to be all sports, just so that that way you attract all the audiences. Because mm. obviously, if I want to talk about baseball, I could like have a conversation about baseball, but I couldn't have my own show. So then that's where it'd be like other people to talk about it. But it'd probably be, I mean, right now, it's definitely mainly just football, basketball, because those are my struck suits. Mm -hmm. What would your like 30, like what would your elevator pitch of underdog sports be oh. to people? The like 30 second elevator pitches are tough. I, we've been doing all sports all the time for four and a half years, and I still struggle with my elevator pitch. Um, if you want the most random sports content or you don't know, you get that notification underdog sports is posted. You don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. You don't know what sport is going to be. I've posted a UFC, uh, like graphics I've made. I've posted when Deandre Hopkins got released, I put him in different teams on Madden and took screenshots and said, what team will he go to? You can see me in the studio you don't know what it's going to be, so it keeps you on your toes. So you may as well follow, because at some point, I'll probably post something you like. 